going to sew a basic, super duper basic lab coat pattern, and we're going to jazz it up with the Cricut. So, stay tuned. And I am going to pull up the instructions on how to make this free lab coat from Rebecca Page Patterns. Link will be in the description box below, so check it out. Um, comes in a lot of sizes, and you can use it for more than just a lab coat pattern. I'm gonna sneeze. Oh my god. Uh, so I need to do that because I need to figure out if I'm supposed to iron on the interfacing to the facing pieces or to the f front pieces. I don't know. We're going to figure that out together. The simplest option. So no vent in the back for walking. Um, I don't think I'm doing pockets or anything like that. I'll just mock pockets with like vinyl or something. It suggests um, going over all of your seam edges before you stitch them together with the serger, not to cut any fabric off, but just to finish the raw edges. So I'm going to do that at least for the back seam um, and possibly for the side seams as well, but probably not for like the shoulders and everything. I'll probably just serge the shoulders on um, and then we'll press the seams open. And we are just serging here, but not together. We're doing each separate and then we'll stitch them together on the sewing machine and then press the seam flat open. My fabric is lined up. Like the blade is kind of right, if you can see it, whoa. So that right in there, that's the blade. So the fabric is lined up so that nothing's gonna get cut off, but we're gonna finish this edge so it doesn't fray. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna do that off camera to both pieces and then we will move to the sewing machine, we'll sew them together and then we'll press them open. Okay, so I have Surged the raw edges here and here and then I sewed it together using a half inch seam allowance as suggested by the pattern And I've pressed the seam open so it's nice and flat. I am doing the optional hanging loop I don't know why but I am So what we're going to do is Top stitch this. This is like a big rectangle So you fold it in half and then you fold the raw edges to the center and press it like this So I'm going to top stitch all the way around or at least maybe on that side to save time and then on the right side of this back panel we're going to stitch it there and there we're going to stitch it in place or baste it maybe and then uh, when we add the collar it'll all be connected so here i'm just pinning the collar onto the neckline of the lab coat and it doesn't reach all the way to the edges because eventually we will be adding the facing and so those edges will get kind of folded back and because I didn't want to put stabilizer in the neck I wanted to make sure it'd be a little bit more comfortable for Felix uh, I didn't have all of the edges of the neckband finished so I just went through afterwards and top stitched them here I am adding the facing pieces to the two front panels, sort of like where the center is on the lap coat. I'm just going over the raw edges with my pinking shears. This will ensure that the woven fabric won't fray even though it's not finished with a serger. So that's the facing, you just fold it backwards and here I am pointing out where I need to top stitch the collar. Now we're going to line up the arms or like the sleeves with the shoulder piece. I believe it's called an arm sis, arm size. I don't know how you say it. So basically you just line it up in the center and you stitch it on. I hate doing this kind of sleeve, I find them very finicky but that's what the pattern called for. And then here I am putting in some snaps. I decided to just go with two white snaps, partly because I didn't have a ton of white snaps left, but also because it's just a kid's lab coat pattern. So you poke a hole with the awl, and then you put your pieces through, put your other piece on top. It's like a little thumbtack with like the little receiving end, and you press them together. For each snap, you need two thumbtack looking pieces, and then one taking end and one giving end 
And now here I'm just going to measure approximately how big I can make the designs we're going to do with the Cricut out of vinyl to stick on the front of the lab coat. Okay, let's try this again, friends. I've already tried recording this and got all the way to the end and realized uh, it wasn't recording. So we're in design space. I'm screen recording this on my iPad so that I can show you all the different steps. We're doing some text so that we can make the Dr. Frankenstein. Zooming in so I can kind of separate these letters a little bit. I didn't want all of them touching or really any of them touching. So sometimes it kind of magnets to itself. It's easier if you use a desktop so you can use your arrow keys to kind of zhuzh things left or right, up or down. You know, a little clicky here, a little clicky there. So there we go, Dr. Frankenstein. Edit, align. We're making sure they're all kind of matching at the bottom. I'm going to weld everything together and then decided I didn't want to weld everything together. So you'll see me separate it again, just so I can kind of adjust the space between the doctor and the Frankenstein. So I'm going to go into the shapes panel, grab a square, drag it over the Frankenstein, highlight everything, slice it, delete those things. You don't need them. And then grab the doctor portion, scooch it in, realign everything. So edit, align, select all, and weld. Now we're going to zhuzh the size. I knew I wanted it to be around five inches across, but half an inch tall was not tall enough, so we made it one inch tall. Scooch that off to the side. We're done with that for now. Now I'm going to try and make a pocket because I couldn't find one I liked on Google. So invert a triangle, grab a square. There's a square. Stick them together. And then we're going to chop the bottom off of the triangle because pockets don't look like that. So another one. And then just delete. Look at that. It's turned it into a pocket. So I'm just going to make sure that these are the same width so that they fit together at the bottom properly. And then we'll kind of stretch it out, make it a little bit skinnier, more pocket like. There it is. Now click offset. You can offset to the outside or the inside and you can decide on if you want smooth or sharp corners. I offset to the inside, select both layers and slice because I only want the outline. I went to Google, found a test tube. You're going to hit upload, grab it from wherever you saved it, tap the areas you want to remove. Otherwise, it's just going to be a blob. Save it. And then you're going to upload it to your canvas and make any adjustments. So there's, oh, it's big. Let's scale that sucker down and then hit duplicate a couple times, depending on how many you want. Decide where you want them to go. And we're going to play with this. There we go. That looks good. So I duplicate again, hit contour. And the goal here is to just select the inside of the test tube. There we go. That looks good. So we're going to change the color because I want it to look like, like monster goo or something like that. It doesn't really matter what color you pick it because like you just decide what you're going to cut it out of when you go to cut. But there you go. And I didn't want it to fill the whole test tube. So I shrunk it down a bit and then decided that having those openings didn't really match up anymore. So contour again, get rid of them. And there we go. That looks good. Duplicate, duplicate, because I need one for each test tube. And then I also realized I didn't need them that long because the test tubes are sticking out of a pocket. They're not inside or they're inside the pocket. They're not sitting on the top of it. So slice that. And then we need to separate the colors because I want to do each one a different color. So same thing as we've been doing, hover over, slice, delete what you don't need, do it again, hover, slice, delete what you don't need. So now there are three separate little rectangles. So I can do them each a different color, which means it will cut them on separate mats when we go to the, the make it tab. So line those suckers back up. It doesn't really matter because they're not going to be attached anyways. I attached all the test tubes together and then I sliced off the bottom of them. So again, you might have to zoom in just because of how snappy it is. So highlight the section you want to get rid of, select them, slice them, and then delete the parts you don't need. So in this case, the bottom of the test tubes. Then I decided to attach the test tubes to the pocket outline. So it was all one piece. I also wanted Dr. Frankenstein's name to be black. So that's all going to cut on one mat. We're only going to have to cut four mats out of all of this, which works out pretty good. So I like to save it. And then we're going to go to the Cricut Maker. We're going to do all of that good stuff. And this is how it turned out. And don't forget to uh, stick around towards the end because I have some video of Felix wearing it. Actually, the size turned out perfectly. 
and he seemed pretty okay with it. So, I mean, we're calling that a win. Now we just have to make him a crazy mad scientist wig. Mm. Oh, what did I step on? Spider-Man. <laughs> hey, Frankie. Hey. Dr. Frankenstein. Dr. Frankenstein. Oh. You want the light on? This project is being completed to your specifications, Dr. <laughs> you want the light on? Yeah. <laughs> on. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Good job, bud. Hi. Yeah. Does the doctor want no. some more cookies? Yeah. <laughs> I need to mind provisions. Look at mommy. Where's mama? Hello. Where's, Where's mommy? Say hi. Hi. Can you say hi? No? Hi, you say hi, mommy. Where's mommy? Where's mommy? Where's you, you say hi? He's like, but I, no, I want cookies. I want cookies. Are you hungry? Can you say hi? Wave to mommy. Say hi. Hi. Mm. Uh. Hello. Mm. You don't eat them all at once. Hi. You sound like Frankenstein's monster instead of the doctor himself. <laughs> Looking good. Felix, your buttons. Felix, look at mommy. Felix, look at mommy. Where's mom? Where's mom? Go find mom. <laughs> yes, yeah, we are doing the renovations to your lab. Nice. We will be able to fit all of the beakers and all of the components. Little, yeah, you gotta keep it kind of forward over your shoulders here. There we go. How's that? Happy? Oosh. Where's Mama? Hi, Dr. Frankenstein. Oh my god, you're perfect. <laughs> you wanna see? Hi. See your beakers? You can basically make those buttons. Mom, I can basically undo buttons. Oh, See? look at you go. Good job. And I basically can get this all for myself. <laughs> Mom, I got my cape off myself. Good job.